back to JPEX Energy Market Weekly Updates. Uncertainty is still dominating the oil market last week, with recession fears being countered by physical tightness and growing supply risks. Crude oil futures Friday were climbing higher as prices consolidated after rebounding from the near five-month lows recorded in a previous session, bouncing after the United States indicated it would stick to a 75 base point rate hike, and energy supply risks continue to rise, with Biden left in the Middle East with reports no public announcements will be made on increasing oil supply. However, markets are still facing steep weekly losses from last Friday's settlements. Middle East crude oil finished the week more than 5% down, with the benchmark JPEX Dubai future contract for September delivery settled equally 88.6 US dollar per barrel, while Dubai cash was assessed at 98.3 dollar per barrel. The retreat in flat global benchmark prices belies the broader picture for the Asian crude market, as structure and physical premium skyrocketed to four months highs on the perception that physical supply and demand balance will remain tight for the rest of the year. Besides, the collapse in gasoline cracks this month has had little impact on demand for heavier barrels, and Libyan oil exports are starting to resume, hitting brand harder from both the original and quality standpoint. The September brand in Dubai exchange futures for swaps, or the EFS, drifted lower of the week, valued around $1 per barrel lower on the week at $10.7 per barrel Friday, but still a historical high spread. While spread between the IC Brent and JPEX Dubai future contract for September delivery was patched at around minus $12 per barrel. On the demand side, record OPEC cuts are set to be fully phased out during August, with quotas rising by another 648,000 barrels per day. But it remains to be seen how much crude members will be able and willing to pump in the month ahead. That fixes the spotlight firmly on Saudi Arabia and the UAE, which together holds most of the world's buffer barrels. By next month, Saudi oil production is targeted to reach 11 million barrels per day, a monthly level that it has scaled only twice before. That lofty rate will reduce the spare capacity to a reserve thin of 1.2 million barrels per day, and it remains to be seen how deeply Saudi will be prepared to tap into this existing spare capacity. The IA estimated Saudi Arabia is able to sustain output around 11 million barrels per day for an extended period and could boost output to its maximum capacity of 12.2 million barrels per day, although the efforts could prove to be a challenge given its mature reservoirs. High volumes hasten depletion rates, will require an increase in drilling, subsurface and surface maintenance. As for the UAE, crude supply is targeted at 3.18 million barrels for August, which will leave it with 950,000 barrels of spare capacity. Tensions between the United States and Saudi Arabia ceased when the OPEC agreed to accelerate production hikes through this summer. However, the market does not expect to secure any supply commitments after President Joe Biden's visit to Saudi Arabia this time. The Saudi Prince said that Saudi Arabia had announced raising its production capacity to 13 million barrels per day by 2027 from the nameplate capacity of 12 million barrels now. After that, the kingdom will not have any more capacity to increase production. And this growth story is set to take place after 2024. All eyes in the market were now shifted to the next OPEC Plus meeting, scheduled for August the 3rd, when ministers were formally set September production levels. On the demand side, soaring fuel costs are slowly starting to moderate oil demand growth. Road fuels were impacted the most, as evidenced by a lackluster start to the U.S. driving season. The figures published by the EIA unveils the elasticity of gasoline demand, which has fallen almost 15% on a week to 8 million barrels. In Asian market, the collapse in gasoline outright prices and the cracks continued unbated last week as recession fears and demand destruction saw prices slump to fresh mountain month lows. In European market, a 10% build in gasoline stocks helped lift the ARA storage volumes last week, with around 1.25 million tons listed as being available on Friday. Also of note, the spread between diesel and gasoline prices in Asia bloomed to an all-time high. As we move away from peak gasoline season in the Northern Hemisphere, refiners will likely start maximizing middle class late production as European countries look for alternative diesel sources ahead of further Russian sanctions. The squeezing of the middle distance production margins may further narrow refinery margins in the coming month. Okay, that's what I want to share with you today, and welcome back next week.